You see the TikTok as well? The lady who, um, she went out on a date in New York City. She got the Branzino. Um, her, her date got the burger. And then the waitress asked if he wanted cheese. He said, "How is that going to be extra? And they said, yeah, it'll be $3. And then he said, no, I won't take any cheese. So she ate her meal and then paid the bill and... Uh, left the restaurant without telling him and then texted him don't worry i covered the check you should have gotten the cheese <laughs> and then made a tiktok where she inevitably thought that she was going to be considered in the right for for abandoning this guy for not paying three dollars extra for cheese on his burger guys i just get back from a hinge date why am i doing this to myself so we scheduled to go to dinner. We are sitting at the restaurant. Seems very nice. Not a catfish. Things are going well. And the waitress comes over. She wants to take her order. And I said, okay, I'm gonna take the Branzino. And he said, I'm gonna take the burger. And the waitress asked him, okay, how do you like your burger? He said, how he likes his burger. And do you want some cheese on your burger? And he asked, is this going to be extra? And she says, yes, it's $3 extra. And he said, okay, then never mind. Over there and I'm like, what the actual fuck? I'm like, okay, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat my friends, you know, and see what happens. And he's like, oh my God, you have to pay extra for everything these days. And I'm like, yeah, it's New York City. So I got my Bernzino, he got his burger, we were eating. And once I was satisfied, I got up and I was like, I'm going to the restroom for a second. And I took my purse and I went to the waitress and I was like, hey, I just want to pay the bill. And I just paid the bill and walked out of the restaurant and I texted him. So I texted him, the check is taken care of. You should have gotten the cheese. And I blocked him. It's crazy, man. That's a TikTok classic. I'm not up with all the contemporaneous stuff on TikTok these days. Only recently found out about the Liver King. You hear about this guy? And now the kind of guy that won't pay extra for cheese? It depends on the situation, but yeah, I mean, if... I mean, I'll just be honest with you. Hang on. Pluto apostrophe, crossing the line. Potentially. No no sequence breaks coming. They have made it. Did a little, a, a little nolly across. I'm not saying there's never a situation. If, if you were like a hamburger's 12 bucks, a cheeseburger's 15, I get the hamburger, I'm going to say nine times out of 10, but there might be one time out of 10 I say, you know what, just for today, I feel like the cheeseburger would hit right. But I'll tell you, I'm the kind of guy, January 1st, I cleaned out my fridge. I threw out like three half empty bottles of mustard. And I say, you know what, I'm not letting myself buy mustard anymore. I, I don't deserve it. Since then, I it, what is it? It's like midway through March now. I have not bought mustard. I've eaten a lot of sandwiches. I have not bought mustard since then. Why'd you get three? Well, you go to the store, and then sometimes while you're at the store, you're like, let's do bratwurst tonight. And you're like, oh, we can't have bratwurst without mustard. But do I actually have yellow mustard? I don't know if I have yellow mustard. Oh, I, I might as well just go get yellow mustard so that I don't have to go back to the grocery store if I forgot it. So then I would like come back with a full bottle of yellow mustard. And I'm like, oh, shit. It doesn't go bad. Yeah, but it, it, it makes me feel bad because it takes up space in my damn fridge. So I, I don't deserve it. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying I don't deserve it. I, I removed my own mustard privileges. Combine the bottles. Not maybe, you know what? These are all valuable tips when I allow myself January 1st, 2024 to start eating mustard again. I still have like almost 10 months of punishment remaining so I can learn my lesson. I don't need solutions. I need, I need to change my habits. This bit is dumb. It's not a bit. This is the way I live my life. Now, the thing is, someone said, why do you open it? Well, like, listen, if I had the choice between a fresh bottle of mustard or a half-empty one, I'm going to take the fresh one. Somebody said, why don't you combine them? And I said, listen, I'm not going to put a nozzle from one into the other. It's just like, um, life's too short. See, it's clear. If, if I was in front of the mustard parole board, 
and they heard what I just said, they would be like, you haven't earned your, your mustard privilege back yet. It's fair enough. I agree. I need more time in the, in the joint. I need more time in the chokey. I, I haven't, I'm, I will be a victim of re recidivism. I will offend again.